On May 27, 2009, supporters of Proposal 8 celebrated a victory in passing a law disallowing gay marriages in California. However, the situation was far from over. On August 4, 2010, openly gay judge Vaughn Walker overturned the proposal. Currently, the proposal is being sent through an appeals court to determine two things, whether or not the proposal is against citizens' constitutional rights and whether or not the judge can overturn a popular vote. Supporters of the proposal say that this judge made a biased and unconstitutional decision by overturning a popular vote. They are prepared to appeal any decision against Proposal 8. These supporters feel that they won fair and square with the vote and that the proposal needs to stand. With Judge Von Wagner's ruling on Perry v. Schwarzenegger, the many supporters of same-sex marriages rejoiced. Judge Wagner ruled that the proposition was unconstitutional. From a legal standpoint, the proposition violates the Due Process and Equal Protection Clauses of the 14th Amendment. It also violates the separation of church and state provided by the Constitution. From a scientific standpoint, the APA, American Psychological Association, stated that the ruling, quote, is a victory for both science and basic human dignity. The APA has done much research on same-sex couples. They have found that same-sex couples are able to raise children to be mentally healthy and stable as heterosexual couples' children. His decision puts the nation to a historic goal, putting same-sex marriages at the same level as heterosexual marriages. In this long-lasting debate between allowing or disallowing gay marriage, you must understand that whether or not you believe in the rights of gay couples or in the rights of the government to uphold the Constitution, the fact still remains that even against the popular vote, Judge Walker overturned what he believed, although biased, was unconstitutional, thus justifying his actions.